Okay, let me start by showing you the problem I'm having with Adobe Presenter. So, just to start with, let's do something simple. I want to start a new slideshow. So, let's open up one of my templates. And you can see that the Adobe Presenter add-in is not present, even though I have Adobe Presenter on my computer. So, let's go over to File, <clears throat> Options, Add-ins. I show no add-ins, no add-ins even be available. So let's go to the add-ins here. None of them even show as being available. When I try to add them, nothing shows in the default directory. Yet, <clears throat> let's go and now take a look at the control panel and we see Adobe Presenter is clearly installed on a 64-bit machine running a 64-bit um, PowerPoint. So let's just go show that. Let's go back to PowerPoint. File. Let's go to So we have all macros to be enabled also. <clears throat> Here, let's go to add-ins again. We show no new add-ins. Nothing's even available. Nothing shows as being available. And when we go to look and see what my product is, so my PowerPoint is a 64-bit Microsoft PowerPoint running a 64-bit Adobe Presenter, which is installed, yet we have no bar. So let's follow the instructions from the Adobe Presenter site. They say if this happens, to go in and remove Adobe Presenter. So let's do this. Adobe Presenter 10 64 bit. Let's uninstall it. <clears throat> and we're going to remove everything preferences, everything that it gives me the potential to remove from the system. Okay. Now, in addition to this, if we go to Adobe Presenter 10 and type in some help for the ribbon, because Adobe on their own website tells us how to fix this problem. So here we're going to be at the point where we're going to... Uh, Keep looking on the directions on Adobe Presenter 10, how to uninstall it and remove any trace of it from our computer so that we can do a clean reinstall. So we're going to play around on some Adobe sites that really never take you anywhere you want to go yeah, when you click on it. So over on the right, I'm going to click on it, Adobe Presenter really uh, 10 uh, and it won't take me to really anywhere I want to go. So mm. let's go back and Google it. Okay, so now we're in their uh, forums, okay. and they tell me how to uh, uninstall them to make sure that 
I'm using 64 bit with a 64 bit machine with 64 bit PowerPoint. Here are some All of that's true, on verified, it showed you. What they suggest. Now remember, this is a bug that I've had on Adobe options, Presenter 6, 7, 8, Manage and 10. And, and Adobe claims to have fixed it. And go, and then it's add not it fixed. Well, mm. that's not really the problem we're having. The problem we're having is that it And I simply don't have any more time to play ball. around with this crap program or the ribbon strip I'll end up using so another program like articulate which I also know it has bugs in it but at least hopefully I can render a presentation uh, an hour presentation on Adobe presenter usually spends I'll, I will usually spend maybe 10 hours 10 to 15 hours creating a quality help, presentation of which at least half of that time is spent uh, googling workarounds yes. for the crashes of Adobe presenter Contact, chat, ask the So here, go um, the I'm going to go in and look in their forum. I'm going to eventually find the presenter forum. Uh, their workaround and their directions kind of like on the how forum, to remove uh, Adobe Presenter cleanly. So say, here's a uh, little blog written by some lady called Nursey Poo, in 2013, who uh, has the same problem that I did. Um, she this says her exactly Adobe Presenter 10 uh, doesn't so show up in a 2013 a PowerPoint, and then PowerPoint Adobe. suddenly stops and crashes. We are told and the to uh, Adobe Presenter rep chimes in here and gives us some directions, which I'm going to follow, and uh, do an uninstallation of the program. C drive. So we're going to follow it. We're going to go to Users, Drive C, username, User, that's me, my data, name is Jay, which is right here. Uh, looking for say, Adobe uh -huh. Presenter folder to delete Under local, follow his directions go, go find go adobe, adobe products and there's no and adobe present presenter that, that even needs deleted delete any presenter which is a little interesting because found, i assume there should be one there there's none here that are here i've deleted it before but first time i uninstalled the program okay, there was good. one there open the and registry then on subsequent page. reinstalls it didn't Let's put it this. back i'm not sure if it needs to be there mm. but again another glitch in adobe's here's products here's the registry editor then they ask us to go to the registry go to editor. Key now the user. registry editor is something you really don't want to play Software. around with that without explicit instructions. And they've given me ins very explicit instructions on what to do. So I'm going to look uh, where they tell me in the registry editor, we're going to delete uh, any Adobe presenter, uh, Adobe presenter folder here. references uh, so in the... Registry files, and so we follow the directions, the and, and there are they're not even machine. there. Even though the program uh, has, I mean, I remember I've uninstalled HP the program. I'm just looking machine. for traces of what's left. There's no traces of anything left, at Software. least according to uh, Adobe's Adobe. directions. <clears throat> and once again, we don't see any files that go to Adobe. So again, design. just so following their directions, looking around here registry. to try to demonstrate that. Then no, there's no say, residual Adobe Presenter once files. Once you downloaded Presenter 10, then, so both files, let's continue, and uh, we'll EXE see. And the we'll follow his directions all the way through. By running EXE, then Adobe Presenter 10 will create. And uh, at this point, desktop, he says, after you remove uh, all of these programs, folders. Uh, go if back and download it, unzip the file, bit, and reinstall Adobe Presenter. If you're using a 64-bit machine with 64-bit. And vice PowerPoint, so we know we're running install 64. the 64-bit presenter. So, let's go so take a that's look. what we're going to do. Now, to save some time, I've we're already downloaded, downloaded Adobe, Adobe Presenter. Here it is. I've extracted it to a file. Let's Here it is. It it's on my desktop. Here's the setup. We can see that we have a 64-bit and a 32-bit uh, file here. We're going to go into the 64-bit, run the setup program. <clears throat> Adobe Presenter now is reinstalling. Now, notice I didn't do a reboot in between. I will tell you that I've done the reboot. Um, they don't tell me to do a reboot in their directions. They don't. They don't say anything about a reboot. But if you want to reboot and make sure that everything's clean, that's the right thing to do. And I will tell you that I have done a reboot before. Uh, I've done this ten times and before. I, I got so this. frustrated, I decided to put so this on for YouTube. So about the tenth time, let's so we're going to sign in, agree their agreement to their end user security. license agreement, <clears throat> put in my. Uh, Adobe Presenter key, which I've purchased. So if you can't reuse this key, anybody, if you want to, because it's registered under my name. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's the key. Put it in. 
install the program the serial number is accepted. install it to the now default to settings on my C drive in the it. Adobe folder and once you go which to it will my create C drive, default program sure no problem we saw it was the 64 bit and now we're just going to wait for a second while it installs so at this point you're feeling pretty no good I'm running Windows you've uninstalled the Adobe presenter see. you've done a uh, clean sweep of the registry file to make sure that there's no residual registry files pointing to files that either shouldn't be there or ones that you've deleted everything's clean so far and we've downloaded it extracted the files we've now installed the 64-bit version on a 64-bit Windows machine on a 64-bit PowerPoint so I didn't but I will all tell seems you good on right? previous uninstalled well not really I did, and it didn't make any difference so <clears throat> Here we go. It's almost in, done installing. Thank you for your patience. I know this is frustrating. And I'm running. Watching some guy play around on his own computer to show you a file that I have doesn't a lot eventually of stuff work. Here. But if you have the same problem, uh, we got malware bytes. Uh, maybe this kind of stuff will help Adobe this to repair their crap. products or give people refunds. Mm -hmm. okay, so the installation's complete. Successfully installed. Sign in now bit. under into my account. 64 bit computer. I'm running 64 bit uh, 2013. And here PowerPoint. comes Presenter so 10, loads me up into PowerPoint. So now let's go back to what we were trying to do. And again, you see it again, doesn't exist. No add-in. Adobe Presenter is not present. It is not present. Add-in. Let's go to the add-ins. It doesn't even show no us a potential add-in. Add let's go down to the Still com add-ins. PowerPoint add-ins. Doesn't Nothing show. Exists. Not even there. Not even available. Back. Try all the other add-ins. PowerPoint add-ins. Com add-ins. Add-ins. Nothing is there. Show no it's active like, add-ins. It's like yep, we uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and it still didn't re reinstall actions. properly. What are my actions? So well, this tab this is, is related uh, to not related here. to what we're looking for. Just going through all the options, File. going through all the motions options. to show Adobe that their uh, product is crap. <clears throat> disabled items. We have so, no well, everything has items. bugs. Yeah, so but not again, everything costs uh, $999 or $599, and work. then you download and you it, pay for it, and end up spending all of your time Googling bug fixes. Trying to fix it, install it, and uninstall yeah. it. You hope that by the that time most products make the market possible. that they're relatively so free of, don't buy this of defects this, and bugs and computer crashes. This same issue existed on Presenter 7, present, or Presenter 8. I didn't own Presenter 9, and they wouldn't let you upgrade, and so I got Presenter so, 10, um, my better judgment. So, here you can see there was and no add-in. No add-in was Adobe available. Adobe products suck. And there it's telling me, check, check make sure the add-in's there. Add -in okay, so we click OK. We know it wasn't there. Trying to do that. Let's go back well, and try it one more time, just in case the clicking on that little OK button tell me to go somehow away. makes it that add-in show up. Uh, yes. Here we go. Yep, no add in again. Okay, I proved my point. I rest my case. I'm done. Adobe, you should go out of business. So there you have it.